A pair of AL clubs. Tigers on the road as Detroit goes up against the Chicago White Sox. Ready to go on 2K Sports. U.S. Cellular Field filled to capacity with over 40,000 fans for this game. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt getting ready for some offensive punch. Thank you for joining us. Into Autumn we go, Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. There's starter Jake Beebe. Steve, what do you think the strategy is going to be against this Detroit powerhouse? As a manager, you send Jake Peavy out there, you know you're sending out a bulldog, a guy who wants to finish what he starts. He's so aggressive on the mound, he goes right at the hitters, pounding that strike zone with quality stuff, trying to put him away. Take a look at Jimmy Leland's lineup. This is brought to you by and Brandon Inge at the plate. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. Boy, it really helps their season record. They strung together eight in a row in the win column. Now, this club's just lost one. Headed for the middle, Peavy. And Inge is retired. Now, a quick look for this game at the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Infield, outfield factors in this one, Steve. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. Here's a check swing, but a call strike, 0-1. Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. And Carlos Guillen looks at that one for a ball. That'll even it up. We're going to get a chance to see that nasty sinker ball of his. That pitch has some serious bite and action at the end. And Conerco makes the catch. Here's what the White Sox schedule looks like. A series with Detroit, including today. A road trip. They'll match up with the Athletics. That's a team they beat pretty soundly the last time around. That'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then they'll be off to take on the Angels in that battle. Bobby Abreu, another team at the top of their respective division. So they'll be out and about over a good bit of that upcoming schedule. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. And with two strikes on him now, Cabrera needs to be protective of that zone. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball. Pound in the strike zone. Swing and a line drive. That's caught. Side is retired. No hits. Nobody left. And we've got Justin Verlander out on the mound. He'll be the starter for Detroit. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? Well, Justin Verlander, when you watch him pitch, you would never think he would ever lose a game with the stuff he has. A fastball that can reach 100 miles an hour, and when he needs it, he can get it up there a little harder to strike guys out. He has a great breaking ball and so much movement on all his pitches, it makes him unhittable. He should be a 20-game winner every year. Let's see what he does today. Johnny Damon on a swing and a miss. That's going to be strike three. You know, sometimes in the back, you go five, six, seven pitches as they start to foul off the 0-2 count. I like that he went right at him aggressively, strikes him out on three pitches. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Right there in the top five and home runs. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. This is a one hopper off the wall. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Number 14. Well, that's a pretty good pitch to hit right here. And he gets the good part of the bat on the ball. Now he's in scoring position with just one out. One on, one out. Verlander with a delivery. Wouldn't get around in time. 0-1. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole, and Inge gloves that one. That will hold the runner at second. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? For one of the more powerful swings you will ever see. I mean, Jim Tomey's a big, big man, six foot three, over 250 pounds. So if you're a pitcher and you're facing Jim Tomey, you make a mistake. There's a pretty good chance, and don't be surprised or shocked that he hits it out of the park. Justin Verlander gets the head on the count. Tough to hit against him now. 0-2. A great changeup right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? Throws to first in time. That's three down. 
So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. Still scoreless in Chicago. Clear skies and U.S. Cellular Field on the menu for this afternoon. Glad to have you with us. Maglio Ordonez to bat. I was coming off game last night where he had two big hits and looks like he's starting to get locked in a little bit. Swung on and missed. Peavy getting it by. And with two strikes on him, Maglio Ordonez now needs to make sure of contact. Let's see if they go right at him or if they're going to waste a pitch. They're way ahead right now. And a great pitch. That'll catch Maglio Ordonez looking. Strike three. Number 25. Good movement. 89 Ryan miles Rayburn. per hour. Pete Cam shows it to you. It's Rayburn at the plate. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. And it's caught by Ramirez. Let's take a chance now and take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average, first in batting average with runners in scoring position, and they're also number one in hits, a lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base, a real bonus to scoring runs. Ground ball headed for the middle. Back up. He'll throw on the first, and that'll do it for this happening. Quick half inning there. It's over five. And Beckham's in the box. He'll get things started here in the home half of the second. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. Here's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. It's off the wall and a hop. He's going to try to stretch it. And a chance here to check out the league's batting leaders, courtesy of State Park. You know, look at these hitters. They're really the guys with the most versatility. The ability to drive the ball to left field, to right field, and hit the fastball, the curveball, the slider. There's really not a pitch these guys can't hit. And Alex Rios up. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Uh, gets back in time. No one out and a runner on second. He's wishing he laid off that one, a strike and a pitch in the dirt. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. And a chance now to see where the Tigers sit in the American League ranking. 11th in home runs, 12th in batting average of runners in scoring position. And the batting average numbers just not where this club would like them to be right now. Not enough contact, not enough depth in the lineup in production with these guys swinging the bat. There's a swing towards the hole. And Inge gloves that one. And that will not get that runner in for third. Joe Crady looks to knock in a run. He's got a 296 career batting average against Justin Verlander. Line shot into center field. That's in there. Should score the runner. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. Number 27, Jim. Well, you love the approach right there. He didn't try to do too much. He wasn't trying to be the hero. Just get that RBI and get that first run on the board. And it's Jim Tomey at the plate. And some clobbers this ball. A soaring drive deep left center field. Gone! A two-run homer. A little distance now, increasing their lead, one to three. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 18, Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. Strike one. Verlander gets the strike with a swing. And the home run there, Steve, the pitching's going to have to be very careful now. Well, that's right. Damage control is critical. You don't want this inning to get out of control. And Rayburn's there to retire the side. So a great inning here in the second. Three runs come across, and they've got the lead. The White Sox are out in front, three to nothing. Larish at the plate. Designated hitter, number 19, Jeff Larry. Strike one. That's a strike. Beebe gets it by him. So the break the ball up in the hitter's eyes. He gets the strike call on it. The hitter just couldn't pull the trigger. 
here's the pitch. Good hard slider swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider. One up. That's impressive breaking action right there. An 87 mile an hour pitch. There. That was not a good looking swing on that pitch. A good at bat starts with good swings, and bad at bats end with bad swings. I think he'd want that last swing back if he had the choice. It's layered at the plate. Nothing in two ABs against Jake Peavy. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Called strike at the letter, so he's got him in the hole now, 0 and 2. And he looks at a call for a strike on the slider, two down. And he only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Boy, that's a tough at bat for the hitter who's got to walk away almost before he even got there. And it's Everett batting. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And the Tigers get their first hit of the game. That'll bring Brandon Inge up. Courtesy of State Farm. Here's a look at the American League wild card race. Getting close to the wire now. In first place, it's the Yankees. The Mariners, second place. In the three hole, it's the Orioles. Fourth place, the Royals. A line drive towards the hole. And that's going to do it. Creedy's there. So Jake Peavy holding it down. He can take Here's a familiar face, Isaac Gian looking up. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in run score, top five. That one in the alley. This could be two or more. Well, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Third in batting average, third most in hits, and in the power numbers there as well. He's also ranked in the top five in home runs, so among the more elite power hitters in the league. Paul Canarco to the plate, runner in scoring position. He's the league leader in ribbies. And he starts Canarco out. Strike one. Strike one. Verlander gets the strike with a swing. On the way. Swing and a drive, deep left center. Guillen will field. One away. Now the runner will have to hold it second. At the plate for the Chicago White Sox. Right here. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. He's number one in runs scored in the league. And Laird spotting the pitch. Strike one. Verlander gets the strike with a swing. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, and somebody they've really come to rely upon. Hit hard to second. And Quinton's got himself a base hit. Good offensive chance here. Boy, I don't know, and that counts the number one, the fact that he swung's kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where he was. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. And Ramirez is home. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Number 51. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. One out with runners at first and second. And he starts Rios out. Well hit towards the middle. The second for one. And that's two. A double play. They pick up one on three hits. Strand a man. The White Sox, four-run lead. So Carlos Guillen leads it off. 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch, A.B. begins to Guillen. Called strike, and B.B.'s got him on one. But Gary, they really can't seem to mount any offense at all. I mean, one hit through four innings, and you, know, you really have to look at your approach at the plate. Swing and a line to left. And that's going to be a base hit for Guillen. That will bring Miguel Cabrera up. Here's how the Central Division is shaping up late going. Brought to you by State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. Second place, the Royals. 
In third, the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. That one threads the needle. That's a base hit. There's a prime production opportunity for the Tigers. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. And the uh, first pitch was a strike. Got about 0-1 right now. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft oh. away from the hitter. One. And they turn the double play. Nice pickup on that one, then around for two. That's like infield drills in the pregame, except this time they got two outs. Nice work to get the double play. It's Rayburn at the plate, lined out in his last at bat. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. This one's grounded foul, wide at first. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. Rios will field. And there's Quentin for out number three. And Jake Peavy is heading in. And we'll move now to the bottom half of the fourth inning. It's going to be Brzezinski. 0 for 1 thus far. Number 12, A.J. Brzezinski. Verlander with a delivery. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0 and 1. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Towards center field, and that'll put Brzezinski on first. Now coming to bat. Well, a nice Look piece of hit right, right there. You get on base Third to start base. the inning with no Number outs. 29. You know, all it does is you want to just keep the line Three. moving if you're the guys behind him. Greedy into the batter's box. Let's see if he shows a little more discipline at the plate tonight. Struck out twice in that game yesterday. Just expanded the strike zone. He's got to get more focused. Swing liner back up the middle. And that one is in there. His second hit today. That's going to bring up Jim Tomey. Well, he clearly was anticipating fastball. He jumped all over it. Ripping himself a base hit to center field. He homered earlier in the ball game. Well, complete game here for him. I mean, you talk about the RBIs, the homers, and this guy's doing everything today. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Line drive. That's one out. And there's the second out of double play. Now coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Left Runner field. at third, hoping Number Johnny Damon can bring him in. Johnny in the top ten Damon. in hits. Verlander with a delivery. First pitch to him, a curveball. Swung on and missed, 0-1. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, will cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Now, always good coming off a three-hit game the night before. and Gives you some confidence coming into today's game. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. Justin Verlander. It's going to be Santiago now. Lifetime, he's Number one for 39, six against Jake Peavy. Santiago. And this is bounced foul to the left side. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. There's a swing, fly ball down the line and left. Damon able to pull that one in. Now the State Farm leaderboard staffs responsible for the fewest free passes in the league. The White Sox number one, the Royals in second, third the Mariners, the Tigers fourth, and we've got the Twins who are number five. Well, you better be swinging today. And you know, as a hitter, you like facing guys like this who don't walk a lot of hitters because you know they're going to be around the plate. And they're going to hit up the middle, Peavy. Over to Canerco. Two down here in the inning. Oh, Gary, that's a nice play right there on the mound. Yeah. Able to grab it and then toss it over easily to first base for the out. And the first pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Oh. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And a good half inning there, gone in short. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. One of the Number best 10. batting averages in the league. Alexei Ramirez. Ramirez will foul that one away. The 
Strike Justin two. Verlander gets the head on the count. Tough to hit against him now. 0-2. That's just a great pitch right there. And I mean, that's the hardest pitch for a hitter to try to stay back on. That's why he was out in front of that one. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching work. This one tails down. Look at it just dropping off the table right there with a big break at 83 miles per hour. And Paul Canerco to bat. He leads the American League and runs batted in. Strike one. Verlander gets the strike with a swing. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. That's going to bring Carlos Quentin up. Look at the on-base percentage leaders for the month. It's brought to you by State Farm. Getting on base is a philosophy. It's a mental state. It's a really an approach, and these guys understand that. They understand they have to do whatever they can to get on. They have the toughest at bats of any hitters in the major league. Well, leading the league in home runs. And he'll take an extra base on this one. It's rolling towards the wall. That Erko's going to try and score here. Good offensive chance here. But Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. The quality approach at the plate, day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. And Beckham's in the box. Career batting average, 244 against the Tigers. And it's up against the wall. And Canerco will score. And Quinton scores too. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Number 51, Alex Rios. Hi! Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? He's been chosen to take over out there. And Alex Rios up. Well, they've definitely got a rhythm going right now. Each player feeding off the other. I carry that last hit just blows the door wide open right there. I mean, they got a shot at running away with this thing. And the other thing they know is they've got time and outs on their side. Out number two. Here's what's happening this Friday. It'll be CC Sabathia and the New York Yankees. They'll be hosting the Boston Red Sox. All gets going at 7 p.m. Eastern. Hey, Gary, do you think John will buy us dinner in town that time we go watch that ball game? Chance to drive it a run, A.J. Pierzynski. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. Two outs and a runner on second. And here's the first one. Hit sharply towards the hole. And that'll get him aboard there on a roll. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season here, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Joe Grady looks to knock in a run. Two men on, two men out. Sinker swung on, missed on one. Well, that's a great pitch right there, that hard sinker. He just can't catch up. He delivers. And a ground ball. Cabrera out. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Shortstop number four, Adam Everett. And it's Everett batting. He's going to get us started here in the sixth. Now Przinski positions himself. Strike called ball. strike, and PB's got him on one. I threw that one exactly where he wanted it, down and in. Here's the delivery. That swung on and hit. Quentin's going to play it. Now so Everett is retired. Ball. One away. Well, Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he set down. One out, nobody on. The first pitch. Oh, Sliders in there for a called strike. Lifetime numbers 219 off the White Sox. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Oh, and he steps on first. That's the second out. Look, oh, Gary, he's pitching well right now. Yeah. I mean, that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Ball. And he lays off this pitch down and in, 1-0. and 
That's a tough pitch for a hitter. That breaking ball that he's burying toward the back foot. Tough to lay off. Popped into foul territory down the left side. And the sides retire. Damon catches it as he heads in. Three up. Jimmy Leland looking on. And a tough decisions, maybe, or maybe not. This bench needs some inspiration. He'll try to give it to him. Tome gets in. Here's the first delivery. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Let's see if he can make some adjustments in the game today. Struck out twice last night and got fooled at the plate. So he's got to wait a little bit longer. And in there, he's two for three today. Now okay. the State Farm leaderboard. The batters stacking up with hits this month. Number 18. So a runner in scoring position for Johnny Damon. What a year for him. Top five in homer. Here's the first pick. Hot shot towards the hole. And it is through. Finally able to get some offense out of an at bat. That's got to brighten his day at least a little. Runners at first and second. It'll be Alexa Ramirez up. The pitch. Hard grounded to short. A run comes home. Now batting for the Chicago White Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up to the pit. RBI chance goes to Paul Canerco. This is a potent offense on the field right now, really dominating. Uh, you know, with that last hit, Gary, I mean, things are beyond lopsided right now. We're looking at a blowout. One of the problems here is that the pitching hasn't done the job, so they've got no reason to believe there aren't going to be more runs scored against them. Well, working on the 0-1 count now. Well, Gary, you talk about the pitching. Pitching is back up the middle. Wow, that was close. Right back up the middle. Almost got him. The RBI leaders the last 10 games, courtesy of State Farm. Now both of them have produced a ton of runs lately, Gary. They're pulling their weight and then some, and now time for the other guys to step up, too. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. And he'll be looking to pad the lead a bit here. When you get these kinds of opportunities, you have to capitalize on it and swing the bat. And the pitcher's really got to bear down now. First pitch to Quinton. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Now his two RBIs helped contribute to the offense in last night's ballgame. Passes up a ball this time and swings for a strike that's in the dirt. There's a swing and a line drive. It gets down. That's going to drive in Damon. Well, this is unbelievable. I mean, this guy's completely lost it out there. Now they've strung together five consecutive hits against him. Clearly, he's run out of gas. First pitch, here it comes. Oh, and that's by him on one. Here's the pitch. Oh. That one's in the dirt. Nice stop. Great. Swing and a miss, one and two. Well, you can tell he was looking for something hard, and he got that sinker down and in. He swung through it. And that one swung on and missed by Gordon Beckham. Runners on. Hitters just trying to make some kind of contact. Didn't get it on that four-pitch at bat. Yeah, and any time you can take it out of your defense's hand by getting a big strikeout, that's what you do. Four pitches, he got him. And Alex Rios up. And one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. That's hit foul by Rios. Foul. Rios again fouling it off. Well, when a pitcher throws a pitch out there 0 oh, 2, you're expecting him to get a ground out or a strikeout, but this guy just reaches out, out, puts it in play, defensive swing to keep this thing going. Able to set him down there, yeah, chuck that one up as a strikeout. He had his back against the wall. The base is loaded. Two strike count. So he gutted it up and went right at him with the fastball. Look. It's going to be Przinski. He's got one of the best averages in the American League. He deals. 
And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Hitting such a mental part of the game and coming off last night when he had three hits, he's got to be feeling good. So uh, he ended that half inning with a strikeout. So they strike for five base hits in the inning and a couple of runs. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crutt, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And he starts Cabrera out. Slider swung on a miss. 0 and 1. Now Gary's tough to score when you only get three hits. We're deep into this ball game, and they have just not been able to mount any pressure against him today. Strike two. Peavy dominating in this AB. He's got some pitches to play with. At the belt. Peavy hit up the middle. Oh, and he caught it. What a play. A shot right back at him. What a play by the pitcher right there. He should have seen it. I think he had to close his eyes to make that catch. And Maglio Ordonez to bat. We'll get another shot after hitting into that double play last time up. Lined right at the second baseman. Back I'm able to pull that one in. The question is, can he keep this going? Now, you know what? It's different for every guy, but from what we see today, he is locked in, dominating stuff, and he looks strong. There is a swing and a liner. That'll do it as they put that one away. Man, oh man, is he on a roll on the mound, Steve. You can tell by his eyes he's... Ozzie Guillen taking a look at you right there. He has to be pleased with his team's performance so far today. First pitch to Creedy. Swings and misses the slider, 0-1. This is the toughest pitch to hit in baseball. That backdoor slider it starts off the plate. And you think it's this one's grounded hard up the middle. Played by Everett. And Gritty retired. Now the State Farm leaderboard. Who has the power bats this one? Well, this is a list of guys that when they get in there, they're looking to do some damage to really hurt the opposition. Looking to drive the ball. It's not just about contact. It's about hard contact. It's going to be Tomei now. He doubled in his last appearance. And he's swinging the bat very well today and doing a little bit of everything. Driving in runs, hitting the ball out of the ballpark, having a good ball game. Now the first pitch. Ball hit very well, soaring into deep center field. Gone! That's a dinger. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. There's not a lot of guys playing today that can hit one that far and straight away center field. Williams once asked McGuire, do you smell it burning when you do that? I think there was some uh, wood burning on that one. And there's Johnny Damon at the plate. For the Chicago White Sox. Left fielder, number 18, Johnny Damon. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way to Damon. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. This one's going to be fielded by Ardonez as he retreats back for it and gets the up. Got a shot here for Alexi Ramirez, two down. Pitch on the way. Swing and a rocket toward short. And it's in there. He continues to get on base. That's hit number four in this game. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Well, they just can't figure out a way to get this guy out. That's now four hits for him in this game. And Laird spotting the pitch. Swung on line to right center field. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. Ramirez around third headed for the plate. And he gets there all the way from first. Now up to the well, he's having a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. Runner 
in scoring position at second with two down. First pitch on the way. Now swing and a shot towards second. Throws the first side is retired. And they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. It's going to be Santiago now. 0 for 2 thus far. Number 39. And here's the first one. That one's drilled to short. And it's caught by Ramirez. And now we've got one down here in this eighth inning of a shutout ball game. Now he's just putting on a show out there right now, Gary. Base is empty, one out. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Takes a swing at that fastball, can't connect on one. Tough to score with only three hits in a ball game, and we're, we're deep into this one right now, so unless something dramatically changes, he's just going to shut them down the rest of the way. He's been overpowered. Got him. Two down now. And you got to be thinking ahead just a little bit. He doesn't look like he's getting tired. It's still a shutout. Well, at this point, adrenaline just takes over. He's focused, determined. He's ignoring any fatigue. First pitch to him. Foul. Fouled away. Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. Right and two. it's 0-2 now. Gerald Laird in a swing situation here. Well, he gets the breaking ball right over the heart of the plate. He must have been looking for something else. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And that's the third out. That'll do it. You don't get a lot of chances to see a pitching performance like this. Now you kind of like his chances. He's been unflappable the entire game. The shutout. Is and if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crock bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. You know, they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. Here's the first pitch. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. Well, he was way behind on that one. Must have been looking for something else. Strike two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. You're Got him. One away. He decides to take a hack at a pitch up and away, but he just couldn't put the barrel on. Nice piece of pitching right there, John. Well, it certainly was. you got to give him credit to the pitcher for giving it something eye level to chase at. Here's the pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Here's the delivery. That's a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, a great pitch right there. Threw in that slider to hit her just out in front of it. Swung early. Came up every. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. It's going to be Przinsky. Had a couple of hits. Four trips to the plate. Base is empty and two down. First pitch on the way. Swings a little late that time. Strike one. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. It's up against the wall on a bounce. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. He's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. And it's Joe Creedy at the plate. Grounded out his last time through. Can't connect. It's on one. Well, this is where he has to make a pitch. They haven't made this pitch all day long. You've got two outs in the inning. Stem the tide, get out of this right inning, leave that runner in scoring position, and let your offense get in there and try to score. And he dives back safely. Hit hard on the ground to short. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. Taking a look at Jimmy Leland. 
He's reflecting right now. Not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. Here's one that's in there called strike. Strike two. PB dominating in this AB. He's got some pitches to play with. The hitter now needs to protect the plate. Think about going right back up the middle. And it holds at 0 2. At the belt, PB kicks and throws. And that's another foul ball. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0 and 2, the pitcher wants to put him away. Ground ball to short. And Ramirez feels the ball. So Everett is retired. Pressure continues to mount. Not a bad way to start the last inning. We've got a shutout going. You want to get the first guy. He's going to need every bit of that defensive support in the end. And in settles in for the first pitch. That one gets passed, but no damage done. And PV with a 1-0 delivery. And he looks at a slider that's in there, 1-1. One one. Well, that hanging slider, it just spins like a helicopter up there. You've got to wail on it when he makes a mistake like that. Good spot that time. Hit that outside corner, 1-2. him out and that's gonna leave him one away from a shutout now so close Gary one more out he's got it you know he's got to be exhausted on the mound he's been out there for a long time planter at the plate two outs and nobody on base is empty with two outs Swung on and fouled away. Ball. That misses for a ball. Here it comes. Strike Takes two. a called strike of the letters and it's one and two. The one two pick. Ball. And it remains one and two. Swing and a miss, and that's going to do it. What a way to end this one. He's got himself the goose egg. Now, he was in control from this one from the absolute beginning. Faced a solid lineup and completely dominated them. That's the performance to be proud of. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers. And it's that time of the broadcast where we bestow the Pepsi Clutch Performance Award. A terrific mound game, the work of Jake Peavy. Well, you couldn't have asked for a more dominant display on the mound than what we saw today. He was mixing his pitches. And we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter, and he was able to ride that one on to victory. Well, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today, the good stuff and location to shut down the opponent. So glad you could join us. For Steve Phillips and John Cruck, I'm Gary Thorne. We'll see you real soon.